Hello and welcome to Games from Folktales for a very brief episode. The way my podcast subscription works, I can squeeze an extra episode in this month provided it's less than five minutes, so let's get into it. I'd like to do a brief, brief podcast in praise of Robinson Aids. You'll still get your usual episode this Friday. It will be the biggest episode ever, followed by a massive episode on dowries, and then one that I recorded on my phone while I was having an out-of-body experience. No joke. But on to Robinson Aids now. Hey, first cold open. The following episode was recorded on my phone while I was having an out-of-body experience, as to be described in a later episode. A Robinsonade is a type of story that takes its name from Robinson Crusoe. In the structure of the story, a person from a technologically superior area is stranded in an area where they have limited societal support. Robinsonades are interesting as ways of starting Ars Magic campaigns because they force characters to use the spontaneous magic system for something other than combat. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is kind of terrible in terms of its social implications. As a person who works with special needs children, I find particularly unpleasant his idea that people who don't have their health are incapable of artistic appreciation or spiritual development. But it does let us think through some of the basic things characters would need if they suddenly found themselves stranded on an island. What resources can they use their abilities to acquire? And how can they then use their skills and their magic to meet their requirements for food, water, shelter, communication with the outside world, attempting to leave, studying their magical arts? If they do an excellent job of surviving, the temptation is to place something valuable on the island so that the island becomes the site of the player's covenant. If you think through Shakespeare's The Tempest, it's a Robinson Aid. Robinson Aids make for interesting origin stories for Covenants because they, like the Covenant design negotiation process, force the characters to prioritise. Players can't just choose to have one of everything. They need to take their limited resources and expend them and by expending them indicate what their characters consider to be the most important things. So, imagining a group of player characters are shipwrecked, for example. They may have the leftovers of their ship, the leftovers of the cargo, the leftovers of the crew, and they may need to choose which of these things to rescue. Is it more important to rescue every last crew member or rescue the ration? Is it more important to rescue every last crew member or rescue building materials? From then on, they have a series of further decisions and they can mitigate some of those decisions through clever use of spontaneous magic. In Robinson Aids, nature is not generally speaking particularly bountiful because by having resources be sparse, characters are forced to act gain these resources and that action is the plot of the story. So a rich island would transform the characters into lotus eaters who just sat around enjoying themselves, which is fine for a sandbox game. Difficult choices, creative constraints, force players to deepen their characters. Sometimes allowing the player's limitless choice causes their character development to freeze in a narrative sense, not in an experience-gathering sense, because the story just becomes a pastoral where everyone is happy and bucolic. So, consider a Robinson aid for the start of your next saga. Suitable islands. The Scilly Islands in the English Channel. The islands off the coast of Scotland, if you're setting a campaign in either Scotland or Ireland. The small islands near Sicily, if you're setting your covenant in Italy. There are some interesting islands between Spain and Majorca, if you're setting your covenant in Iberia. Technically, the Channel Isles are in the Normandy Tribunal, and with a strong enough curse or mystical problem, you can even set a Robinson Aid not on an island, but trapped within a forest, or trapped inside a regio. 